One story that I vividly remember from my childhood had to do with my father who traveled a great deal for uh, preaching and he was going overseas, I believe a funeral in Bermuda if I recall, and we had the day off, it was a Saturday, and so we'd gone with him as a family up to the Toronto airport. Well, when we got there, we were just dressed in our Saturday play clothes, nothing special. But when we arrived at the uh, counter, the lady who was looking after us said, uh, excuse me just a moment, and she made a phone call. And around the corner, there came a, a man dressed in a uniform with epaulets on his shoulders, and he said, please come with me. Now, this was long before the days of uh, all the special arrangements for frequent flyers and uh, special places for them to relax while they were waiting for their flights. But uh, we were taken down several hallways until eventually we came to an unmarked door and he took out a key and unlocked the door and led us into this beautiful lounge and uh, asked us if we would like something to drink and we all gave our orders of various soft drinks and away he went to serve us. And uh, we were all feeling quite skittish about all of this, thinking that sooner or later he'd find out we were just ordinary folk and what were we doing in this fancy room. And brought the drinks back and so on and there were magazines to look at. There was a television going in the corner. And after a little while of this, um, we were feeling very uncertain about the whole matter. Um, he had told us that uh, he would come at the appropriate time and take my father to his flight. Uh, one of us picked up a, a guest book that was sitting in the room and we began to look at it. And here in the guest book were all these famous people. I remember some of them, uh, Princess Margaret was uh, signed in there and uh, uh, Humphrey Bogart, the uh, Hollywood actor. And uh, uh, I remember several other famous names as I read through them, Elizabeth Taylor and so on. I remember my father taking the book and um, he, with some flourish, he had a beautiful penmanship and he put his own name in there with all of these famous people. And uh, then he added these words taken from the words of the Lord Jesus in Luke chapter 10. And we read in verse 20, Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. We found out afterwards that uh, there was a well-known politician in the Canadian government whose name was also Nicholson. And somehow with my father as listed as a minister because he was getting a special arrangement to fly over rather suddenly to attend this funeral, they had jumped to the conclusion that he was a minister in the Canadian government. As I recall the impression it left on my soul as I thought of all these household names. Uh, they're all a who's who in this world, but they're all who's he when it comes to heaven. Uh, we read that the Lord Jesus calls his own by name. He never called Caesar, Caesar. He never called Pilate, Pilate. Never called Herod, Herod. But he did call Mary by her name and Peter by his name. He calls his own by name. I'd much rather be a, a who's he on earth and on the who's who list in heaven than the other way around. What a wonderful statement this is. Rejoice because your names are written in heaven.